The idea of this was to build something that wouldn't compact the soil, that wouldn't mash down the crop, whether it's alfalfa or rye or soybeans or even corn. We can go crossways in a cornfield with this outfit and you hardly know that we're, we've been in the field. The concept was to build a machine that was as light as possible, that had just enough power to get the job done, and would carry just enough liquid that we wouldn't have to nurse it too often. Uh, we started with a four-wheel drive, 83 Ford pickup frame, and put things on it as, it's, as they seemed to fit. Uh, we had a lot of suggestions on what to do and what not to do. The one was that the thing would spin out. There was no question about it. But with these two-inch hard rubber smooth tires, the balance of it has kept us out of trouble almost entirely. He is lowering the booms now. Uh, these booms were made in Lidditz, Pennsylvania by Paul Zimmerman Company. You know, they're made so that the booms come around to a certain point and then lower straight down to where you want them for the crop. We have the booms configured for either 20 inch or 30 inch centers. We use T-jet nozzles or also holocone nozzles. We use anywhere from uh, 25 PSI to 110 PSI. The maneuverability of this machine is outstanding. We can get the full swing of the manufacturer's turning radius with these big wheels by trimming everything so that the tire goes right in against the frame. We put in a 20 horsepower Onan gas motor. It's the same motor that one company uses in their garden tractor. But, and the hydraulic supply tank is up where the radiator usually is. Of course, it's an air-cooled motor. Here we see the configuration of the 80, number 80 roller chain. Uh, the hydraulic motor is mounted on the other side there. Here's another picture of it. There's one motor in the front and one in the back. This is a hydraulic control lever, which makes it fully hydrostatic. This is the pump, the compressor, that goes to the foam marker. Pressure gauge. In a regular tractor, four-way control system for operating the booms up and down. The, the, the left-hand spray control and the right-hand spray control and the pressure controls, two of them, to have your pressure high and low. Your speed, spray rate, your sub acreage, your total acreage, your total liquid, and then how to set it to make that come out right. The sprayer is powered by an 8 horsepower air-cooled Honda motor. The uh, centrifugal pump is mounted underneath. This is a 15 gallon uh, plastic drum that we used for the foam marker with a handy cap there to fill it with. Battery that we use to run either the negative or the positive in through the, pla uh, the plastic uh, nurse tank in order to polarize the, the liquid, positive or negative, depending on whether we want the plant to grow or whether we want it to fruit. Here we see configuration of the wheels. We took off the tires and took 11 gauge black metal and uh, it came in 4 by 8 sheets. We used the 48 inches and made a circle 
welded to the outside and spokes to the other side. I made them too light to start with and had to beef them up a little bit, but that's something that can be handled okay. The two inch hard buggy rubber was put on the local buggy shop. We can fill our spray tank from a nurse tank that's on the ground if need be. And this works out real good. A winch that r raises and lowers the spray boom. Not the handiest, but saved a thousand dollars. Here we see the, where the pump was mounted. We used some non-conductive material. So as we polarized the water, we didn't want it to ground it out. But with the rubber tires and with the pump mounted so that it's not on the steel, we could uh, use that principle. Here is a, a magnet, north or south pole. We put on the discharge line. That again is changed whether we want to have the plant to grow or whether we want it to go to seed. Here we're starting in a field just as a, as a demonstration for a few minutes. It shows the fog and how it's coming out. The pressure really isn't all that high here. Uh, I'm not going too fast. Uh, on a level field like this, we can spray it about five, maybe five and a half miles an hour. But if it's steeper, then of course, you go a little bit slower. But uh, the thing I like about it is that the, the 30 foot booms and the turning radius just happened to work out so that if you give her a, a full swing real quick that you can turn and come back and go ahead without backing up or missing any. It just happened to work out that way. The most we ever did in one day was 100 acres. It was a pretty long day, but we had some uh, problems of getting fertilizer company to bring the material and we did some some waiting around but with with proper uh, nursing and no problem to get 100 125 acres a day with it